Welcome to part 13 of Mass Effect 3. Um, just touring the Citadel here, really. Check it out, the uh, Presidium, I believe it's the Presidium area. And we got ourselves, well, Edie's just sitting around here. We can check out Casa Fabrication. Magazine upgrade. Um, Proceeds from all purchases go to help our men and women serving in the Alliance. All goods have been marked down with our special wartime discount. Proceeds from all purchases go to help our men and women. Well, let's grab these clips. Magazine upgrade. None of that can be bad, right? Hello, Shepard. You look like you're gathering data. That is a safe assumption. Anything big and world-shaking? Man's inhumanity to man? Does objective reality really exist? That kind of thing? I was running scenarios in my head to analyze Jeff's behavior. I believe he has a strong affectionate attachment to me, but he has not stated it to anyone yet. Shepard, you have first-hand sexual experience. How do you know when someone is romantically invested? Uh, they'll usually show signs they can't stop thinking about you. You know, masking you out, giving you presents, maybe playing music. I lack material wants other than hardware and software upgrades, and in my core programming does not assign value to music. Perhaps we could discuss how to provoke Jeff into an emotional commitment. That's not how to think of it. It's got to be natural. You need chemistry. I see. There are a number of pharmaceuticals I could inject to simulate the desired emotional state. No. No, I mean relax and do something you both like. Something simple, for example... You both like humor. Correct. I will see if there are comedic entertainment shows being presented on the Citadel. Scanning. Do you think he would like the man who hung himself? It appears to be about an amorous plastic surgeon. Company is what matters. Edie, the important thing is to have a good time wherever you go. And if you're having fun, he probably will too. Then the outcome is an unknown quantity. But you are saying I should attempt it anyway. Nobody ever fell in love without being a little bit brave. I see. I believe you have improved my chances, Shepard. Thank you. <laughs> uh... Hey, Commander. Check it out. Big news. The Blasto movie is breaking opening week records. There's also a big expose on Quasar tournaments. Tips on how to make your apartment look bigger. And, oh, yeah, a big-ass Reaper invasion. These people have no idea. When big events shake up the galaxy, people cling to what's familiar. You say that like it's a good thing. It's better than riots in the streets. I guess. I just wish there were a middle ground. You know, a little less gardening advice, a little more war prep. It'll happen, once there's something people can do to help. Meanwhile, they ignore the unshackled AI walking around the Presidium. She run into any trouble? No, no, she's my mobility assistance mech. <laughs> Thanks to Brolic Syndrome, I'm legally entitled to bring her everywhere. 
finally getting some use out of those disability benefits. I'm sure she appreciates getting out to see the sights. Ah, she's earned a little shore leave. Okay. That's all we can say. I have noticed many displays of public affection on the Citadel. The rate seems disproportionately high. Everybody could die tomorrow, Edie. Looking up is one of the few things they can do. I wonder if this is how the Krogan feel. Well, that's great. I just hope he knows which ones to fight. Oh, we have another store. A lot of stores. Well, your manager said you could give me a refund if I made an appointment. You're not on my appointment list, and you don't have a receipt. I, I don't even think we carry that version anymore. There's nothing I can do without a sales record of some kind. I can go get the warrants book for my car. I'm afraid I can't help you. But your manager said you could give me a refund if I made an appointment. Look, he is not going to leave. The sooner you refund him, the sooner you go home. Yeah, you're right. Let's get this over with first. Here, I sent you a full refund. Really? Yes. You mean it? Of course I do. A full refund? Yes. Congratulations. The whole 15 credits. Oh, wow. Hey, thanks. I mean, yeah, you don't have a receipt, but I can just refund you without any... I mean, obviously, that had some... Two stores there. And C sec. Oh, I walked by something. Okay, we have a crap ton of items here. I don't know what conversation I overheard about the heat stabilizers, but um, it's somewhere in this area. Yeah, the walk-by quest was kind of uh, in introduced in Mass Effect 2. It's kind of annoying.
Blasto. And nothing here seems to be accessible. So, you know, whatever. We will head this way. Doc's holding area. We've got a Huerta Memorial. One moment, please. Let's try going there. Now arriving at Huerta Memorial yes, Hospital. I know your stock of modified Metagel is low, but no, you don't understand. This is important. here at this time and we need no regular metagel won't work we need the modified version for better absorption rates don't you dare hang up on me this is a medical emergency we can't wait forever on this i found this metagel formula figured you could make good use of it where did you find this never mind it doesn't matter yes we can put this to good use thank you no, it's fine. We won't be needing your supplies after all. No, we found a better variant of Metagel that allows for an even higher absorption rate among aquatic species. You'd like a sample? Why, of course. We'll be happy to send you one. Just as we've sent one to every pharmaceutical company in the United States. Oh, look! Thane is here. going on here? Ma'am, I'll cut you a deal. You buy us 90 million credits for supplies, safe, and equipment, and you can name the hospital whatever you want. Now the truth comes out. My job here is done. Welcome to Serta. Metagel capacity. Um, that can't, that can't be bad. Having more Metagel. Let's talk to Thane. See her. I heard Earth was under attack. I didn't know you'd made it out. Thane, it's been too long. I was beginning to think I'd never see you again. I sent a few messages while you were incarcerated, but I suspect they never got past the guards. What are you doing here? Visiting a friend who got hurt protecting me, Ashley. The dark-haired human woman in intensive care. She will be starting physical therapy with my class soon. That's her. If she means something to you, then I will help how I can. As long as she is here, consider her under my protection. I appreciate it, Thane. I am near the end of my life. It is a good time to be generous. I have only a few loves left, and you are my last. Well, I see you want to make up for lost time. I should warn you that you may not want your final memories of me to be in this hospital. Keprel's syndrome is... not kind. I'm 
back on the Normandy on an important mission. Sure could use you. I would not be as I was before. I need daily medical attention. And if I know you, you will want to fight the Reapers somehow. You need the best at your side. And I am not at mine. Do you know how much time you have left? I've been to several doctors. My favorite gave me three months to live. Nine months ago. It's freeing to find no requirements placed on me. No responsibilities. No fears. It is a good end to a life. Are you in a lot of pain? At times. The oxygen transfer proteins don't form correctly. Your human equivalent would be hemoglobin. As a result, my blood is low in oxygen. No matter how much I breathe in, I get tingling, numbness. And that is the best of it. As for my brain, I cannot track the damage. I just experience dizziness from time to time. I've got a few free moments. Do you want to spend a little time together? I'd like that. You should understand that my cardiovascular system is not what it was. You were saying something? I've missed you, Shepard. <laughs> okay. By again, Shepard. I'm flattered. I've got a few free moments. Do you want to spend a little time together? Hmm. I warned you there were limits to what I can do. Perhaps if we just talked a little more, that would be less. Strenuous. I wish the best for you, Thane. I think of us often, Siha. But we always knew it would come to an end. Live well in the time you have. Perhaps we will see each other again. Uh, okay. Hello again, Commander. Here to see our patient? How is Ashley doing? Stable. There's no evidence of cognitive impairment from the concussion, but multiple shoulder fractures are still on the mend. Bed rest under observation is all that's needed now. I'm sure a visit would be welcomed. This war has left a lot of injured people homeless. How's your center handling the extra load? We're fine now, but I'm worried. Every hospital in the Citadel is preparing for the worst. I hear the docks are tightly controlled, but we just can't leave people floating out there forever. How are your medical supplies holding up? We're well stocked now, but I can't say I'm not worried about the future. I think I've had this discussion before. More profiteering has already begun. All right. Keep up the good work, Doctor. You too, Commander. I don't want to repeat too much. Yes, scan me. Talking. Grissom Academy is gone, but I found this while I was there. What is it? Yes, these are tailored to human physiology, but with a few alterations, they should work for the Asari as well. This is exactly what I needed. Thank you. Tell Matriarch Athena that our huntresses should have the upgrade waiting for them. Ah, uh, yes. Listen to me, those prototypes are vital. We need these biotic upgrades to fight the Reapers. Okay, nothing. Yes, yes. All I can say is that unless we get those prototypes back, this project accomplishes nothing. Thank you very much for your time. I'll call you if anything develops. 
Yeah, more side questing. Yeah, we got a lot more codex we can Check Ash out. I'd like an answer, Lieutenant Commander. The galaxy has need of exceptional soldiers like you, no more than ever. I still need time. You'll have my answer soon, I promise. I look forward to it. Shepard. Udina, I got your email. Made your decision yet? On becoming a Spectre? Not yet. It's an honor and all. But I don't know. I need to think about it some more. It's a big decision. Smart to give it some thought. Here, I picked this up for you. Figured you had some downtime. Thanks. That's sweet. I've been climbing the walls. How are you doing? Good, considering. The nurse said you checked in on me earlier. Still out cold, I guess. We didn't have time to talk. I thought maybe if you were up for it. Yeah, I wasn't sure you wanted to. You were pretty clear on Mars about where things stood. What do you mean? You're not a part of Cerberus anymore. Case closed. Full stop. It's the truth. Okay. You cut all ties. I accept that. It's just that if you're giving the orders, I need to be able to count on you. Uh, hold on a minute. Yeah, computer's doing the thing where it likes to retune my sound settings. So I'm coming in louder than I should. I hate when it does that. That works both ways. It's a damn mess out there. All we've got is the people around us. We have to trust each other, or this doesn't work. Deal? Deal. When you're back on your feet, we'll talk some more. Shepard, wait. There's one more thing. I wasn't sure if I should mention it. What is it? I have family back on Earth. I... I haven't heard from them. It's making me crazy. But I know you're busy, Shepard. We can talk later. I've got time to talk. So what's all this Lieutenant Commander business? Seems like the old Williams curse is losing its grip. Was sure I'd top out at Gunnery Chief. You've worked hard. You deserve it. I thought so too. Until Eden Prime. Losing 212 was... Well, you know. It was the Reaper's Ash. You did the best you could. And survived to help us. Just losing everyone under my command, it's tough to face. I'll never forget any of them. Right now, we need you back on your feet. I'll be back. And first order of business is to shove their metal tentacles right up there. Uh, I mean, I'll fight with honor and courage, ma'am. <laughs> Roger that, LC. I didn't hear from you while I was a guest of the Alliance. I couldn't face you, even when Anderson requested my presence. It was difficult. It's okay. We're both professionals. We have more important things to worry about. You're right. I'm just restless laying here doing nothing. Who's back on Earth? Mom plus my three sisters. The youngest, Sarah, was away on her honeymoon. Married a military man, Thomas. He got called back in and she was stuck alone. She called me. It's been pretty tough. I imagine. I was always there to protect them growing up. Even when I was off on tour, they knew they could talk to me. I told her to come to the Citadel. We could wait for news together. We can't afford to be at each other's throats. If we plan on getting through this, we need to trust each other. I was trying to keep the family stuff to myself, to be professional. 
I don't know how you managed to keep it all together. There's a war on. People are counting on us. I get it. But it's still hard to put it all aside. Have you heard anything about Earth? We have reports coming all the time on what's going on. Half are wild speculation, and half are probably too optimistic to be true. We have to believe that we can do something. When I thought you were dead, I lost hope. I'm telling you. But when you came back, I was ready to believe anything. I mean, maybe this problem can't be solved by some grunt shooting the boogeyman in the face. But if you think it might help, I'm game. That sounds more like the Ash I know. We can't afford to be at each other. I was trying to keep the thing. I don't know how you managed to keep There's a war on. I get it. But it's still hard to put it all aside. I should get back to it. Take care of yourself. Will do, Commander. Get some rest and Odina's like, become a Spectre now. Like, it's really kind of insensitive to be laying that at someone's feet while they're like recovering from serious injury. Welcome, Commander Shepard. I mean, it's a good decision. It's a big decision, but we probably shouldn't be laying it at our feet at this very moment. This is a, a new area, I'm pretty sure. Yes, we can. Tell your friends to move their ship out of the docking bay. Wait, please. My family's on board. Just let them land. I'll pay. This isn't about money. The wards are already at capacity for refugees. There's just no room. You let Asari in here earlier. That's back when we had space. Where is my family supposed to go? I don't know, all right. But they can't land here. You can't turn people away. Yes, I mean, you sure can't. You can't squeeze in a few more people, officer. And who the heck are you? Oh, Commander Shepard. Uh, if that's what you think, I'll, uh, I'll find them some room. So my family can dock? Commander Shepard says your family's cleared. Just tell them to hurry. I... Thank you, Commander. Thank you so much. Okay. Usually do make that decision. Find a bunch of people here too. Hello, Commander Shepard. Welcome to Docking Bay E24. This level has been repurposed to accommodate the recent influx of civilians on the Citadel. Please ensure that you observe proper security protocols at all times while in this area. Okay. Thanks, Savina. Please speak with me again if you require further assistance. Excuse me, what was your name again? Uh, Victor. Christophe Vassar, good to meet you. How long have you been here? I don't know, I'm, I'm not in there. I don't know how long it was since I escaped Lyon. Do you know Covered your pillars of strength from the kite's nest. They're yours, waiting in Bay D24. Thank you. Right now, my people need any reminder of the faith they can get. The Council called the invaders. Welcome to Batarian State Arms. Stand strong for your people with Batarian State Arms. Ah. Uh. Now, we did a kind gesture to the Batarians.
Things are really bad for the Batarians right now. Kelly Chambers makes an appearance here at some point, I'm pretty sure. Maybe not now, maybe in a little bit. Let's check on those Medigel supplies. Yes, sir. And have we heard anything from the hospital? The surgeons there are all busy. Keep on it. Some of these wounded don't have much time. You are looking at CI model 1.7 AGB, Commander Shepard. Please see a store clerk to unlock a demo of this model. You are looking at CI model 1.7 AGB, Commander Shepard. Please see a store Shepard. What's happening? We convinced the Council to accept our wounded. Nowhere else to go. How bad is it? More dead than injured. 85% killed in action. We'll need a morgue soon. Not a lot of flesh wounds when you're fighting rapers. Casualties are that high? Our frontline units are being wiped out, whole platoons at a time. A single reaper can destroy nine or ten of them in one attack. That's not war. It's slaughter. They're called reapers for a reason. Because they reap. Found out do what you can for them. A few of them might get back on their feet, but the rest... Sympathy is about all we can offer. Any sign of your family? Not yet, but I keep hoping. What about you? I'm starting to see some wear and tear. I won't lie. It's been rough. Well, don't forget to come up for air. There's a lot more war to go. Talk to the sales clerk. You have a copy of Oh yeah. The one based on that war hero? We locked it after some kid spilled soda over the hardware. I'll unlock it, but we've only got the demo version working. We just got a report that another ship made it up to them. How many on board? Thirty or forty survivors. That's all. They said the fight was getting worse. Well, let's find some room for them. This is going to be home for a while. Been unlocked, I guess. No further interaction. Okay. I don't know. What about the food we were promised? Then contact Commander Bailey over at CSEC. Tell him Garrus Vakarian would consider it a personal favor if he could reallocate the shipment so these people don't starve. All right. Yeah, the war is pretty bleak. And the Salarians and Asari haven't even been attacked yet. But it, that's coming. Oh, you better believe that's coming. Welcome, uh, Commander Purgatory Bar. 